Greetings, my name is Tommy the Keyblade Master, and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to do a response to Alloy 7's Gamer's Life, and his latest question is, do video games need soundtracks? And I say the same thing as I did with the story. No. And yes. Classic video games, and I do play all types of video games, both classic and newer, but a lot of the really, really old Atari games didn't have soundtracks mainly because you did not have room to put them in there in those old Atari carts. Then you got into the NES and then you got background music. It was often simple, but it was really used. With Super Mario Brothers and onwards, it seemed like every game had a soundtrack to help convey the stage or to make each stage feel a little different through the music. But other than a few sparse sound effects, that's all you had was the music and then you stepped it up to the Super Nintendo, which gave you more symphonic music, and it still was there blaring in the background, because even the Super Nintendo didn't do audio very well outside of the music. But once you got into, like, CD, D, DVD, and now Blu-ray discs that give you a lot more audio options, I've noticed as the games also have tried to move on to more experiences, different type of experience in the genre, that the sound has also changed. And I can pick that up also when I'm editing a video. If I'm editing a classic game, and some of this does have to do with my capture card, I notice that my capture card for my old NES that I use really brings in the music louder than what I do for my HD devices. But even when I am playing a virtual console game on the Wii U, I still have to turn down the music more than I do on a newer game usually. And that's because, like I said, they're setting up an experience, so they're not really blaring the music at you all the time. What you oftentimes hear is ambient effects. You hear people talking in the crowd in Assassin's Creed. You hear dogs barking. You hear the everyday goings of city life most of the time. Music only comes in to help set an emotion scene if something happens. If I, say, stab a guard and another guard might have noticed something unusual, I might hear a little bit of a music track to let me know to be on guard to either try to hide and blend in with the crowd or to be ready to fight because... Um, the guards are starting to realize something's up, but it's not used usually all the time as far as the actual gameplay goes. That's not true for all games, that's just for certain games. Your shooters and your action games nowadays certainly apply here. Your RPGs still have good music, especially during those cutscenes that Eloy kind of went on saying he didn't like, and he has his reasons. But music also helps set the cutscenes. A good story will have good music for the effect of the emotion they want you to have for the scenes. The Tales series has good music. The Zelda series has some decent music. And of course, my favorite, the Kingdom Hearts series, has some excellent music that I can get emotional to. However, if I would have to say which RPG did the best with its music to get me emotional, though, would be Lost Odyssey, a old school Japanese RPG for the Xbox 360. Now its normal story is your typical Final Fantasy fair. If you played through Final Fantasy 7 you pretty much played through Lost Odyssey. Change a few things around in the story but the villain's still the same as Sephiroth, the hero's still the same as Cloud, you know just a few degrees difference in their personality. But what made me emotional though is that your main character Kaim is an amnesiac just like Cloud was except he's immortal. He's been alive for at least a thousand years and whenever you go into an area that triggers a memory rather than this elaborate cutscene it goes into a PowerPoint-esque presentation where you have some really powerful music going along, setting these scenes of Kaim's journey and, you know, the pains and perils of being immortal and having, you know, watching people who you knew as a kid get old and die while you still remain the same. And some of these stories can be very sad, and the music in that game just fits it perfectly. If you have an Xbox 360, go out and seek it out. It's not available on the Xbox On Demand service, probably because it contains three discs, but it's worth seeking out that RPG. I personally enjoyed it, even if the main <laughs> game story wasn't that great. The little cutscenes with Kime's backstory were really powerful and emotional, and it's worth checking it out for those. 
But basically, yeah, music's important. It helps set out different stages. It helps emotions and those story-based games. And it's what can stick with you the longest. It's not the most important thing in the game. I'm not exactly an audiophile. If you ever notice the way I do reviews, I usually spend the less time talking about the music because it doesn't really affect me much. But when I hear a good piece of music in a video game, it does stick with me. So like I said, just like story, no and yes, it just depends on the game. Having good music, if the game lets it fit, it's a great idea, but it's not necessarily a requirement for a great game. Anyways, that's my opinion on this. Tommy the Keyblade Master, signing out.